Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Clivex Pro Q&A with Stray. The question for this episode is, I'm trying to trigger different audio clips with the same button on a controller, depending on where playback is in arrangement view. So once I'm passing into another section, I want the same button to trigger a different clip. In other words, I need to be able to automate which clip the button triggers at a given time in the arrangement. All right, we can do that by using variables. Uh, that is a bit more of an advanced co concept though, and so uh, prepare yourself, we are gonna be getting a bit deep in this episode. First of all, for this example, I'm going to be using this little application here, which functions as an on-screen MIDI controller. And I've defined a variable. You do that in the file name variables, which you'll find in the ClipX Pro settings folder. The name of the variable is slot, and I've given it a default value of 1. I've also defined an X control, and this is going to trigger the play action. Since I haven't specified a track, it'll apply to the selected track. And the slot on that track that it'll launch is variable. All right, so it'll launch whatever slot number is stored in this slot variable. Right now that's one, so it's gonna launch the first slot on the track. So if I go to live now, you'll see that it launches that first clip. All right, now let, let's look at changing this assignment based on arrangement position. To do that, I'm gonna use X cues, and I've got three set up here. These are all gonna reassign that slot variable. So at the fourth bar, the slot variable will have a value of nine. At the eighth bar, have a value of six. And at the 12th bar, it'll go back to uh, having a value of one. All right, so let's look at that. So it launches the first slot. As soon as we get to the fourth bar, it's gonna launch the ninth slot. Once we get to the eighth bar, it'll launch the sixth slot. And then once we get to the 12th bar, it'll go back to launching the first slot again. So interesting use case there where we're using variables to achieve dynamic reassignment. Hopefully that gives you some ideas on some of the more advanced things you could do with Clivex Pro. As always, please keep the questions coming and I'll see you in the next episode.